needed to be done in a German home, you called a hand worker. Nowadays, many people's motto seem to be do it yourself. But how did the Germans get to be so proactive around the house? Ah. Germans have caught the DIY bug. 57% say they are interested in home improvements. And 43% actually do odd jobs around the house at least twice a month. Figure starts his investigations at a DIY superstore. So what kinds of jobs have German DIYers tackled? Oh, I build my desk on my own. Mm, I fix all kinds of light bulbs in different variations. Um, to build a bed um, on my own. That's pretty impressive. The German Handyman Academy is a body that organizes DIY seminars and competitions. Why are so many people taking things into their own hands? Mm, I think uh, there are three reasons. Um, we like it uh, individual. Uh, they are uh, perfectionists and uh, we can save money. Oh. And DIY is big business. Germans spend 37 billion euros a year on DIY. That makes them the undisputed European DIY champions. Vigor is now off to Leipzig in Saxony to meet Germany's Miss DIY. She tiled, wallpapered and drilled her way to the title, beating more than 1,000 contenders. What would your life be like without doing it yourself? I think it uh, would be more boring, more expensive and I would miss the um, opposite of my intellectual li life. Oh. Sisters are doing it for themselves. Uh, you're regarded as a professional DIYer, but isn't that a bit of a contradiction? Yes and no. We don't have to follow the rules like the professional, and so the results are often a bit unique. All right. The final showdown takes place in Claudia's apartment. In order to become Germany's Miss DIY, you need to be pretty good at fixing things around the house. So I'm going to challenge Claudia for the title, and the first one to botch things up will be the loser. Okay, we will see. Claudia gets off to a great start, carefully measuring out the sections of laminate flooring. But what's this? She may just be human after all. Vigor works steadily, but his flooring just doesn't quite fit. Despite adjustments, this is not going to pass quality control. We strongly recommend do it someone else and declare Claudia to be the winner. A defeated Vigor heads back to DIY land. Yeah, that was impressive, but I had expected more from the German home improvement amateurs. So it's time for the ultimate DIY test. Our first handyman drills a hole, inserts the wall plug and screws the wood to the wall. Well done. The second challenge is replacing a cracked tile. He's quite good at removing the grouting with a circular saw, but whacking it with a hammer is not the right strategy. Now the grouting needs to go back in and be polished. And that's really not bad. Finally, the next generation. And this young man is a whiz with the cordless drill and even makes something that could almost be useful. So, German DIYers are willing to have a go, whether it makes any sense or not. Summing up, DIY is here in Germany to stay. It's a great way to save money and to get in touch with your creative side. But take care, there are an estimated 300,000 DIY accidents a year. The search goes on. The search for the truth about Germany.